What are you doing in here? Clean your room. Ducky dog. Hey, look, she watching porn, y'all. Look. Tell the people what you're watching. I'm not ducky dog like you. Ghetto booty clappers five. What you watching? <laughs> Big dig dongs, black streets, Latina treats. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. What's up, YouTube? Yup, back with another video, and you know I ain't going nowhere. Huh. Anyways, Jackie got done playing with herself, and we're a little bit uh thirsty now, so we're about to go to uh to Starbucks right quick. So, anyways. I want to use this video time to read some of the interesting questions that some of you guys asked me on Instagram. We got all these cars in the driveway. So I guess we're going to play any mini, mini, mo, pitch, tiger, bite. All right, we're going to take this one because <laughs> my car has no gas. As nice as it looks. You ready? You going to jump in the car, baby? Let's go for a ride. You guys asked me some pretty cool questions and shit. So why not? But yeah, I got some fucking great news. Yo, we just got approved for our first crib. Really excited. Uh, we moved May 1st, so yesterday we went to, uh, went to Ikea. We should have vlogged some of that shit, right? We didn't vlog. Yeah. We, we just got excited in there. Maybe we'll vlog again. We're gonna, I think we're going to keep on going. Um, uh, what is that in the window? What? Was it dog bird shit? <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, it's so embarrassing. Yeah, this needs to go to the car wash, but whatever. Y'all can't say shit. I don't want to hear that shit. Anyways, go for a quick little ride to Starbucks. And let's read uh, some of these questions. You're beautiful with a blue heart and a fire emoji. All right, all right, well, I'll take that. You told me I can lick your feet. Just trying to figure out when. We, we gonna go to a commercial break. I'm gonna show y'all the bottom of my feet with shoes on. Let's go. Pull-ups, baby. Whew. That's separately. <sighs> he said, pull-ups, right baby. I'm just kidding. <laughs> How'd you like that little workout session, huh? Random clip, but why not? You know what I'm saying? How do I get a man like you? Um, A man like me is typically always taken. So depending on the age of the guy, is when you're going to get them. Because all the ones that, believe it or not, the ones that are really, really, I feel like the guys that are really, really cuff worthy, they're getting cuffed. You know what I'm saying? And you got to get them at a young age. So if you're a little bit older, you got to be a sugar daddy or a sugar mama, depending on who this is talking to me. But you got to get them young. You know, don't try to get them at 25, 27, 30, because more than likely he's already taken. And if he's not taking, he probably already has kids and he has some kind of baggage that comes with him. Like a lot of high, what I, what I know is that a lot of high value men like myself are typically always taken after around 25, you know what I'm saying? And if they're not, then they're coming with some kind of baggage that you don't want to deal with like kids or a girlfriend or a wife or there's someone, you know what I'm saying? So I'd say just get them young. Can you make a foot page and have guys worship them? Hmm. I mean, nothing's impossible. Honestly, I'm very comfortable with my feet, so maybe, maybe I'll make a, maybe that will be my new genre for OnlyFans altogether. You know, maybe I'll just do uh, foot stuff because I found that there's a lot of uh, success for me in that particular genre. Uh, not a question, but you have a, a chiseled face. Thank you. Doesn't look that chiseled with this with this hair on my face, but Jackie really likes the beard, so I keep the beard. You know, <laughs> you feel? Only fans with the with the looking thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess only fans is right there. Okay, go ahead. Uh, what size are my feet? My size, the size of my feet are size 15. Where is your accent from? <laughs> my accent's from Toronto. And even the white guys talk like that in Toronto. You guys want to see a clip? I know you guys want to see it. Yo, yo, so what, yo, so what are man saying right now, though, huh? What are man saying? Yo, with the, with the lip, like, yo, 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 this guy doesn't know who I am, eh? <laughs> I don't think I'm going to just Starbucks. What y'all want? Mm -hmm. All right, never mind. Can, do you guys have birthday cake pops, ma'am? We only have chocolate in our cookie dough today. Oh. Mm. Can I have two uh, cookie dough cake pops, please? And what you, what you gonna get? Just a moment. I want a frappuccino. What's up? She's so good at getting like the the crazy shit. Don't you know what I'm saying? 
All right, I'm not gonna film her. <laughs> She's so good at getting like the crazy, like, nice flavors. I'm feeling like a. What do you think? <laughs> put no, it on no, spot now. Put me on the spot. Put, yeah, you yeah, always come fine. with. Oh, let me get a ice caramel macchiato espresso. Duh, 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 duh. She always <laughs> come with them weird ones. We taste good as fuck though, but like you know. It'd be some shit that's not even on the menu. Can you teach me how to walk like you? LOL, your walk is powerful. So I've been heard. So like back in college, uh, Jack used to tell me that like people used to like... Uh, Ask me. Yeah, they, they used to gossip about me like how y'all gossip about me now. That's all people ever used to do about me. Uh, they'd be like, why does Grandy Glees walk like that? Is that what they used to say? Well, the, yeah, because they knew... Oh, yeah, we knew each other, so it's like, so why the fuck Grandy walks like that? And I was like... Um, I don't know. I guess, <laughs> and then I, I actually did ask you. Yeah, I, I guess my answer was, it's really just me. It's not a forced thing, but I do have a very distinctive walk. But that's just because, you know, I have high self-esteem and I believe in myself. And I guess it's just a very proud walk. But it's it's something that's not, it's not forced. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? But I hey, think it's a flat foot. It's the flat feet. <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what it is, but like that's that's who I am. I walk very powerful that's just me so with a lot of o's on it what motivates you on the regular mm, okay that's a better question what motivates me on the regular is you know never wanted to be mediocre i always knew that was um different you know a lot of people say special or you know whatever destined for greatness and i think we're, we all are in our own right you know what i'm saying but you know i've just never been an ordinary guy and you know, to back that up, I think you got to back it up with work ethic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I've had great coaches uh, throughout my basketball career, and they always told me, like, yo, if you want extra, you know, you got to be extra type shit. So that's kind of what motivates me every day. Um, myself, you know, sometimes I try to motivate myself with external things, with internal things. Um, but ultimately, like, shit, my motivation varies uh, by season. You know, certain things will motivate me. Uh, to keep on grinding, to keep on going harder, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's just me as an athlete. If you're the same way, um, finding a different motivation over and over and over again will keep you going because you never want to do the same shit over and over again. That was a good question. That was good. That was a good. One. When am I coming back to NYC? I'm actually going to be in New York City. Um, I've been preparing kind of um, for a big photo shoot um, for Memorial Weekend. So Memorial Weekend, I'll be in New York City. Maybe I'll uh, organize another meet and greet for you guys. Who knows? The phones died. We're, we're the only two motherfuckers that could be inside all day long and like have our phones die as soon as we leave for like five minutes. <laughs> but yeah, you want to continue your point? Yeah. Just because the guy did something romantic the first time doesn't mean that she's just going to bust it open. Honestly. Don't you think? Um, no. <laughs> It depends on the guy too, shit, like have they been talking for a long time, does he make her feel comfortable? Cause I've had dates before, and the guy did some, something super romantic, and of course it didn't bust it open, not even on the third, never. But we see, but that that's you though, now, now it varies. Now, the, the, okay, so listen bro, there's different variables, this come from a player, you understand me? Listen. It's gonna vary from woman to woman, there is no one size fits all to everybody, right? Everybody values different things, right? Everybody has their own code that you need, per se, to uh, persuade them and get them to where you want them to be. Let it be, you know, in the in your case, trying to smash on the first date, right? So if she's a girl that's, you know, she's typically going to do that, like she's very sexually active, she knows what she wants, she's just going to go for it, then, yeah, I think that will help you do it because one thing I can say that all women are attracted to universally I don't care where she's at. It could be hood. It could be from hood rat to like Democrat chick. You understand me? Republican chick. I don't care what race she is. All women value intelligence. Yeah. All right? Like that's that's just, why do you think funny guys get all the women? Funny guys don't get all the women because. They're attractive. They're funny per se. Even attractive, but funny per se. There's a difference between being goofy and being witty, right? Like this June bug motherfucker doing all, that's goofy. Women don't like that. That's goofy. But when you get really the the amount of thought and wittiness that comes into having a good joke or like a good like storyboard or whatever you're doing, something that's very creative and witty, um, witty equals 
attraction and attraction equals uh my bad witty equals uh, intelligence and intelligence is very attractive for everybody not just women but if we're talking about smashing on the first date if you can prove that you are a little bit more intelligent than the average guy like because like i bet like 99.9% .9 of guys can't read out loud <laughs> like this is why I'm saying that if you can read to a girl out loud a chapter book for like two like two chapters without like fucking words up and shit I think she might give it to you it sounds so simple but you're proving that you have a, a level of intelligence that probably a lot of guys just don't have when we get back home you're reading to me two chapters out loud <laughs> I feel like my point was so long. I have to like cut that. <laughs> but yeah, bro. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want to do something right quick for you guys. About to enjoy this and then go out the docks. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Stress. Come on. You need to get by. Love you too. See you guys this okay. weekend. I bet. Okay, talk to you. Bye, bye.